Today, we're going to talk about the top mistakes junior devs make on their resumes. Real Tough Candy asks, what are some do's and don'ts for junior developers when it comes to resumes? All right, so um, I have a lot of experience in this with um, Coder Foundry. At Coder Foundry, we also are recruiters, and so we are constantly placing our students into jobs. So we have a great deal of experience about what and how a developer or a junior developer resume should look. The first thing that most people make and the mistake they make is they put junior dev on their LinkedIn portfolio and they put junior dev on their resume. And all that does is lower the income that the person's going to offer you. They're like, well, he's clearly junior, so I'm going to put them in this slot. Um, when you interview, let the interviewee, the company, decide what slot you fit into. So don't, out of the gate, limit yourself. Here's the other mistake that I see is like, you'll go to LinkedIn and you'll add junior developer on your LinkedIn profile and then you'll get a job and then you get another job and then you get a third job. And like nine months later or two years later, you say, I need to update my LinkedIn profile. And guess what? It says junior dev on it and clearly you're not a junior dev. And so you don't even know the opportunities that were passed you up by people looking for people on LinkedIn, and because you hadn't looked at your LinkedIn profile in a year or two, you have junior dev on that when you're clearly not that person. So don't put that label on yourself because it may need to be updated later and you may forget about it, but it also clearly limits your income potential on your first job. So let's talk about how do I apply for a job. The reason that you're worried about your resume is that I'm going to use this tool to get me a job. And what I'm going to tell you is your resume is not going to get you a job as a junior dev. Typically you'll have some education and zero work experience. So you've got like, Hey, I got a computer science degree from MIT. My last job was at cookout flipping burgers. So like that experience doesn't lend itself to getting you hired other than clearly that maybe you're educated or if you went to a boot camp or whatever, what you really need is a portfolio. So your, your resume, the piece of paper that you hand someone should have your clearly defined portfolio at the top of the page where they can go click on that link and look at it. If you're emailing it, make sure the link is aware they can click on it. And then your web page comes up and, and it should be well-designed beautiful. And guess what? It needs to contain three or four business level projects that they can click on and use easily to see what you can do. And so your resume, what I would think is a container of your contact information, maybe your education, but you should definitely as a junior dev trying to break in, have a portfolio link, very prominent, bigger than everything else on the page so that they can see it and click on it and look at what you can do and let them judge on your skills and not your experience. If you can go through that, you have a much better chance of making a really strong resume portfolio combo that will actually get you a job and not limit your income. Now, I want to go over one other thing. Let's say that you're new to this whole game and I want to break you into a little bit of a deep secret in how these jobs get placed. So you're out there working on your own, you got your portfolio, you got your resume, and you're going to Indeed or Monster or Dice or whatever, and you're like, oh, look at that junior dev job, I'm going to apply for that. And you apply for it and submit your resume to it. And then you wait. And you keep waiting and like, no one calls me back. Why? And here's what's happening. When that job gets posted, the recruiting firms around the, the country have like these search algorithms. They'll find that posting as soon as it hits. And guess what? They probably already know the hiring manager. They already know the dev manager. They already know the people in HR. And they call them on the phone. And they said, hey, you know what? I've got eight resumes right here that I can show you. And they look at those resumes and yours is going through the little box and it's going through the scanner and it's over there and no one ever looked at it because they found eight qualified candidates through a recruiter that they're just going to hire because it's easy. I can check the box. I can get this done and I don't have to filter through the resumes that are being sent to me. So if you've ever been on the other side of monster and deed or dice or whatever, sometimes you'll post a job and you'll get resumes that sometimes get misclassified. So you're like filtering through like, this is, for, this is a clerk. He's not a developer. And so like you get these bad things. And so if you can show me eight qualified candidates 
right away and I can interview them tomorrow, I'm gonna work with the recruiter and that's what happens. So here's my advice to you. You need a resume, you need a portfolio, but you also need to work with a recruiter if you wanna break in faster or quicker or better. And guess what? Typically, that recruiter, especially the national firms, will format the resume for you. They'll write it for you so that it looks the way it needs to look when it's presented to the employer. I'm all about getting people jobs. So if you think about what I'm telling you is, yes, you need a resume, but your portfolio is way more important than that. And second or third, work with a recruiter to help you land that job. Because all we're trying to do is get jobs. The end goal is not to build a resume, it's to get a job doing this. So get a resume, yes. Build a portfolio, yes. Work with recruiters. Do all those things and it'll work out for you. Anyway, I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding. If you like that, I've put together five steps that you need to follow to get your first job as a software developer. Go to coderfounder.com slash job roadmap. My team will be there to help you out as you get your first job as a software developer. And if you like this video, please subscribe and we can give you more great content just like this. <laughs>